Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online meeting number 42, first one of October, getting towards the end of the year. Halloween is right around the corner, which of course means so is Wix 3.9. Um, and the only thing standing between us and that is bugs, which we'll go through in triage. And then we'll do our standing discussion on progress, which is mostly just a nodding at what we already have, unless triage changes that, and then we'll have open floor because nobody sent me anything extra, and we'll move on. Bob, you ready to go do triage? I am a go. All right. I'm going to refresh because every time I show up here, it's like, oh, there's no, no, okay, I don't know. So, 4114, old bug, coming back. So, Sean did an awesome job and tracked down finally the, what has to be the root cause of this, which is this whole, Bruce figured out that it seemed to be tied to the autocomplete on the, uh, the control that we have on the options page, and Sean noticed that it has to be called, or it has to be destroyed before calling co-initialize, and since, and he noticed that, the, noted that WM destroy is the window being destroyed before it's child controls, such that if we do a post quit message that the main thread could exit and re call co uninitialize before the window finished destroying all of its stuff, and then this thing, this autocomplete thing could, you know, get upset and never go away and all that kind of stuff. So if we move to WMNC destroy, which is the message that comes after, then that might solve it. And we have someone out there, Mark, that verified that, yes, that is a fix that works, which means it makes a whole lot of sense, especially since after going and digging, um, found that Raymond Chen's little sample program uses WMNC destroy to send his post quit message instead of the very common WM destroy. So, the fix, which is trivial, um, I pushed a pull request out there for against 3x. The question is, now that this is untriaged, where do we put it? 3.9 or 3.10? I wish that I had brought my, my big D20, because I think we need, we need to make a, a Oh, never mind. I was going to make a big... A, a roll for yeah. quit? A crit hit? Uh, uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I decided that would be something fun to record. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We're like 42 um, videos in. Nobody listens to these anymore. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> and for those of you that are actually listening right now, that's a joke and we're very happy that you're here and please i hope you laughed at bob just a minute ago because it was funny anyway thank you thank you um <laughs> yeah so so one i am very glad that we've you know finally tracked this down and boy what a an annoying little uh requirement that the autocomplete stuff kicks in um that said, we are back to the to the issue that this is a bug that only you know happens on Vista and Server 2008. Um, I am, I guess I'm I'm more willing to look at it as a Server 2008 thing, since you know Vista is what Vista is, um, and maybe you know Server 2008 is one of those things that is actually popular, somewhat. Um, oh, that's interesting. What's that? Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, reading the, I am, uh, okay. Uh, this is, so, I, I researched this bug for my day job, um, year and a half ago or so, uh, and it was only on, on, Vista or Vista era, which you know includes the original 2008 R0 or R1, whatever you want to call it, um, and it was it was due to this, the the hardening that happened during Vista that was relaxed or fixed or whatever in in Win7. Now that isn't entirely consistent with what we're seeing here, um, and maybe it's just one of those things that 
you know, maybe it was a Windows bug that was fixed in Windows 7. So the target is really, I think, Server 2008. And, you know, I guess I can see that being, uh, you know, something that people would be on. Again, I, I don't, you know, the that it happens on Vista is not a concern. I wouldn't, you know, just based on the three copies of Vista that are still out there. Um, but it's on Server 2008, which I guess I can... You know, take a take a bit more seriously. Basically, uh, I looked at the pull request. The fix is trivial. Um, I would be fine taking this in, into three nine. Um. So. I guess that's that, unless anybody wants to argue that we shouldn't take it. Anybody want to argue that we should not take this bug? <sighs> no? All right. John's like, no, is, which is awesome because he actually responded to a question, which I love. Uh, John, have you seen this? Do you guys hit this? Do you do this? I guess you'd hit it a lot, right? I mean, it seems like it would be a perfect group. If you have that, well, I mean, I, I think Bruce's point is it's pretty common. This is a problem with with servers, right? It's like it's probably guess, where you would I, do the whole launching under a service kind of thing. Um, yeah, like well, it, deploy kind of thing. It's yeah, and and the whole you know, Windows remote management thing is is coming up more. Um, but I guess I, I you know I can see it. It's like if people aren't on some kind of uh, you know software assurance or other volume licensing things, they're going to get on a, you know a version of the OS and stay there until they you know feel the need to upgrade. Just like clients, except worse, I think. All right, so three nine then. works for me. All right, then we will have a discussion during the progress meeting to talk about what our final release date is and all that kind of stuff. Cool? Works for me. All right, let's go get to the rest of these bugs. Bug. Cache only related bundles. Cache only. We don't have those yet. Okay. Attempt to upgrade older bundles. I think this is a bug right. in the original, uh, yeah, in the original work for cache only. So, which we are looking at taking in Wix four, right? Okay. So, not three ten. We can push it to four. And <laughs> I love these bugs and stuff that we don't have yet. So, do you want uh, that in four zero? Uh. For now, yeah, let's put it there. I'm still trying to find, I need to go find the pull request that disappeared against 3x. I have to go dig it up. Because he closed it instead of letting me move it to 4, which I said I would do. And anyway, oh. uh, I have to go hunt it down. Yeah, we have 150 closed pull requests or so. 157 pull requests out there, yeah, open, or that were opened. I linked to it. All right, cool. Sean has found it. Right, it's just something I have to go do. Additional logging required for hash verification and registration program problems. Yeah, so I saw this is just more. This I already pulled into four because it was more logging that seemed useful. The yeah. question was, do you want it in 3.10? If you don't want it 3.10, I would argue probably should never have it. Yeah, um, it, this one in particular is literally just extra logging. I have zero problem with extra logging. Extra especially, logging if it, especially if people were trying to diagnose issues and couldn't yeah. because they're missing it. Pad package sequence number log files. Into it. So I took this in the four because, well, we can change anything in four. Um, right. And padding to have a couple zeros in front of the number so they sort. Uh, sure. I usually sort by time, which gets it, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, sorting by name is fine. 
Um, do you want it in 3x? I don't know that anybody cares how the names are done, but that would be a change if anybody expected the names to be single-digit numbers increasing. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I kind of I kind of like this because I also sort by time because that gives me um, that always gives me the bundle log at the top. It does do that too. Um, but I will also admit that um, when you are looking for a particular package log, it is kind of annoying that sort doesn't work. Um, and I, and if someone actually, you know, wrote code that depends on the fact that there's a single digit for, you know, fewer than 10 packages and can't cope with, you know, zeros, I yeah. don't actually care. Yeah. Technically speaking, there are properties that would tell you the log file locations and they yes. would be updated naturally. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, even, even that worst case, you're, you know, your regex that you're using, you know, can't code. You didn't. You missed a plus in your, you know, backslash d. No, no, no. All right, cool. Let me take that. Pyro allows empty transforms to be added. This is silly, right? <laughs> yes. Like I, I, I looked at this in Wix four, going, what? Really? Um. Uh, yes, I have a vague memory of this, um, and you know, office. Um, <sighs> yeah, basically, this is a group that has a lot of tooling around the stuff that they do, and that tooling works. Uh, huh. Their, their tooling doesn't appreciate the fact that a pyro won't allow an empty transform. Um, in, in the in the before, there's some you know, processing going on. Um, so, okay. I don't know how to think about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot. I mean, what does it do? I get. I. I mean, to be honest, I. I with. Man, and like I said, I mean, I'm vaguely familiar. <sighs> I think Sean. It doesn't add the empty transform. I think it ignores it. Jacob? Right. Not Sean. Oh, is that Jacob? Sorry. Uh, not awake yet. Who are you talking to, Rob? Jacob brings up the whole add an empty transform. Where you add it. Yeah, I I think the code throws away the empty transform. I'd have to go double check it. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, if it. But then you, you could end up with a patch with no transforms in it. I don't even know what. And. Okay, I guess. I... I don't know. Throw um. any Wix MST at Pyro and have it ignore transforms that do not include changes. I, the okay. other way of looking at this is that it turns uh, it turns what is an error today into a warning. Right. You can take a whole bunch of transforms, put it in there, figure out that none of them happen to apply to the products you care about, and you'll just get a whole bunch of warnings that, hey, here's a whole bunch of transforms that don't matter. 
and presumably it's an error if none of them stick. What if we always made it a warning and an error if none of them stuck? I'm just like, if we're going to do this, I, I hate adding more switches because we did that in yeah. the past, and it just it gets crazy. Um, well, yeah, this this specifically was because it's you know weird ass behavior, right? Um, well, I, I mean, I, I'm trying to think like if you have like why would you do this? And you basically would do this because you have a lot of products, a lot of different flavors of stuff, and you just want to you're building a transform that targets many things, and you have many things. So you have like this gigantic many to many, right? Yeah, this this is for creating. I, I think this is for creating, if not an Uber patch, you know something along the lines of targeting. Right. So so I'm just going. All right. So so you do that, right? And so for everybody else, for for people, let's say this differently. All right. So you have this, and you decide you're going to do this, and we spit out warnings saying, "Hey, none of these transforms applied." If you're one of the people that does it that way, you're like, "Cool, I don't worry about those warnings." And if you're someone like what Jacob is saying. You know, those people are lazy. <laughs> um, he would go, those warnings are bad, let's fix them, which is what most people tend to do with warnings, especially if you turn on warnings as errors. Because then you're like, yeah, you know, that warning needs to be solved. So I'm wondering, what if we just make this the default behavior, and if you have warnings as errors, then it would break it. I mean, because... It, I think it needs to stay a warning. I don't think we should just say nothing because that seems dangerous. And then if you want to be clean, you solve the warnings. And if you don't care, then you don't care and we don't end up with another switch. Uh, if it is the case that... Uh... And if you end up with no transforms, that has to be an error, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's like, here's a patch that has nothing in it. Yeah, I don't know that that actually happens today, though. Well, I, I think it will. Ha well, I mean, well, it doesn't because as soon as you hit an empty transform, it's like error stop. You don't have to worry about that case. Well, that's right. So I, I think what I mean, I would change this from here. Let's add another command line switch to. Okay, fine. Let's say you made it a warning. I mean, it's not a bad patch, right? If you have a whole bunch of transforms, it's like it's like Jacob said. You're being lazy. Uh, do we want to throw out the transform? Yeah, right? There's no point in carrying an empty transform, is there? There's no point in carrying an empty transform. Don't ask me. I didn't ask for this feature. There's there's no point in carrying an empty transform. It's not going to do anything. Sorry. I, I, I'm kind of in this mode right now because I'm looking at the um, uh, bundle code, and um, it throws away containers that don't end up with any payloads in them. <laughs> Like, it doesn't create you a cab and says, here's your container you asked for if you didn't put anything in it. Um, okay. now, you could argue, well, and it does not spit out a warning, which I was actually looking at going, hmm, I wonder if that's a good idea that doesn't even tell you that it threw away this container. But, yeah. okay. You know, so, but then I was like, you know, and that's fine-ish. You know, you're like, okay. I mean, I didn't put anything in it. I don't get the container. The bundle's not going to carry around this blank cab. You don't think you're carrying around a cab for no reasons, you know, all that. So I'm like, so burn does not error when you have an empty container. And patching does when you have an empty transform. So I'm trying to kind of get to a common middle ground, which is, you know, you could do that. We're going to ignore it. And here's a warning for just to let you know that, you know, if you didn't mean to do that, that's kind of weird. Uh, Jacob, that's right. I think my understanding of this is, this feature is they have they have a process that generates patches, probably with minimal human intervention. So, you know, rather than like today, where you know you'll use uh, patch uh, patch family filtering, you use patch families to explicitly author what you want in the patch, um, they'll generate something from, you know, a lot of automation. Um, and it, it looks it, like you there is You basically code. build a whole bunch of transforms, build the patches you want, 
throw all the transforms at all the patches and just pick whatever falls out at the end. Yep. And it looks like there's code to exclude the transforms, or at least exclude them from the patch summary info. Well, yeah. Which, kind of annoying, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think it's reasonable. Uh, so I don't, I don't think we can take this in 3x. I don't think we want to change the behavior there. I don't well, that's why the and that's why the switch exists, right? Yeah, I don't care about it in 3x. I mean, if we're going to do this, I, I, if we're going to do it this way, we just take it in four and not do it in three. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, I, I mean, you're like, yeah, okay, you know, we'll do that. And now this has got me thinking. You know, I'll probably add a warning for empty containers, and basically come to the same spot of both of these things. Uh, okay. What which, is, which is, which is, you know, if you have nothing in it, we'll just discard it, but we'll let you know. Because how, you're do, how do you get into that state in, in a bundle with containers? Uh, external container um, that has no, um, you, you author a container element, like, like put a container inside the, uh, the bundle element, and yeah. then choose not to put any payloads in it. Okay, so it requires an explicit. It requires an explicit container authoring. Yes, yes, okay. it, 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 right, and we're like, oh, cool, you put nothing in it. We throw the container away, carry on. Okay, uh, that sorry, uh, I was asking because I was trying to see how comparable the the situations were. It it makes sense to issue a diagnostic when you explicitly did something. And we're deciding on your behalf that no, you didn't really mean that. Right. And so we're going to um, omit that. Right. Uh, I mean, if we're going to throw something away invisibly that you did some work to make happen, we yeah, should warn, yeah. which I think is the same thing John's saying of the I always like messages that keep me from blowing my feet off. So, yep. like, yeah, we should, we should do that. And then again, if you want to be like Jacob, who I think follows tendencies towards what I would do. You you make those errors warnings, <laughs> and you're like, no, don't do that. Fix your stuff. Yes, and then everyone starts ignoring the warnings, but that's a different problem. So that's why you elevate the warnings to errors, and then you're good to go. Oh, would that more people did that. But it's, yeah, well, you have to. Well, it depends on who runs your world. Um, so I think that's probably the way to go for this. Yeah, I don't want I'm another fine. switch. I don't want another switch. I'm, I'm completely there. Uh, I, again, I think, uh, well, I don't know what we would have come up with for four, but the switch exists for three because it's a change of behavior, and you have to opt in to questionable decisions that certain teams make. Yeah, I think, well, I think putting this a warning is probably a good thing. And we'll put it in four, so not three. We'll put it in four. Uh, can tweak the pull request a little bit because it's probably pretty close to what we want, especially if it already has a warning in it. Um, and just have to make sure it errors if there are no transforms at all, which that I don't think we can allow. It's like, here's a whole bunch of warnings and then an error saying, we threw away all your transforms. What the heck? Um, I think. I think so. I mean, truthfully, I, I don't think it's illegal. Well, I mean, I think then maybe we, we don't err, and we're like, hey, you just built a patch, and all the warnings told you that there's no transforms in it. So don't come crying to us when <laughs> you apply a patch and it doesn't do anything. We're like, yeah. yeah, did you see the warning? It said none of these applied. What did you just do? You, know, you built an empty transform, or you built an empty patch. Congrats. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we disallowed it. We disallowed it today, so... I, I, I still disallow think, it in the future. I, I think, think we fine. probably should disallow it. I just don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> we, well, you, well, you can't even build it today, so... I'm not <laughs> Ooh, okay. Can you build it with patch creation? Uh, oh, that's interesting. Probably. Just because patch whiz is, you know, frequently on drugs. 
so we need to tweak this thing a little bit, but then, yeah, I think it's reasonable. Okay. I'm glad I looked at the container code because it's actually a lot like this, and I think it's the right way to deal with it. All right. Um, so I will move this to 4.0, I'm assuming. Yeah, we'll do it 4.0 because there's already a pull request, and I can fix yeah. the pull request. I mean, I saw the pull request isn't that big, so I can fix it, and then we'll call it, you know, good. It's basically downgrading an error to a warning in the end. Yeah, yeah. And then we have to decide if no transforms is an error condition that we want. Or, again, another warning. If we can easily detect that none of the transforms have any content, then at the very least it's a warning, if not an error. Yeah, I think you're right. It's at least a warning. Can you promote single warning messages to errors in Wix today? I don't think so. I think yeah. it's just WX. Yeah, there's no WX number. Hmm. That's interesting. That would be a nice feature, wouldn't it? Might be. I don't know. Okay. NetFX dialogue's not optimized for localized text. This is actually the prereq BA dialogues. NetFX prereq installation dialogue. Ah. And perhaps unsurprisingly, the issue is in German. German. Yeah. Uh, the good news is the uh, loc stuff that I did in Wix 3.6 oh, will help. Will save us. <sighs> yeah, it's all hooked up. Um, whether it will save us is is a different question. But I definitely want to. Uh, however, we address. I want to address this kind of problem uh, using that feature rather than what we did so much in Wix UI, which is just keep making the buttons bigger. We'll get there eventually. Uh, I, I agree. I think that would be awesome. Um, and it, it should be. I mean, uh, I don't know. That's the that's the left button, isn't it? And then there's a cancel button. Anyway. Yes. I'm pretty sure that even the the femutal negative coordinates trick will uh, is still supported by the Wixel. Pixel change, so should be. It doesn't do all that at runtime. Oh, but is it after negatives are calculated? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. That is yes. That is all at runtime. Um, just as part of loading the the Wixel, uh, Wix standard BA is smart enough to follow the trick um, that I added in Locutal to uh, update all of its uh, all, of, all of its fields I think Pretty all right sure. so sure. this bug is open or is targeted at 39 probably was there before that if we had German localization for these um, we know we're taking a bug fix for 39 are we taking more than that? Um, and if we are, does this qualify? Right. Um, man. If this had a pull request, it'd be easier, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think that theme viewer. No. Oh, Viewer doesn't support the Wixel files, but nope. you can pass a lang switch to a simple bundle. I th yeah, you can pass. Oh, you can force it to run in. For, yeah, basically, how do we see the the change? Um, so I think that that would work. Um, yeah, it's not too awkward to set up. Uh, crap. 
Okay, so this is tied in with the next bit, which is the discussion about schedules and yes. such. Um, the question is, do you even want to try to put this in 3.9? Because obviously, if negatives aren't handled and all that, probably is going to get bumped to 310 to ha get Locutal up to handle negatives and all that. At the very least. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. for DEDE. -E. Well, I'm just saying, like, do you... Let's say this bug is a matter of providing a Wixel file for German for MBA prereq. Well, and it works. Would we take it right now? I would consider this a low-priority bug. I, I, it might be simple, but it's not, you know, as for a resetting. Okay, but we reset escrow for but, that other bug. Yes. But this one still doesn't clear? Uh, it's not high priority. It's hopefully trivial. All right, so does the triviality get it over the bar? Where's my dice? <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. If, if there were a pull request, um, I might have a tougher time, but at this point it's, you know, I'm fine by is that. this important enough for someone to go fix? No, it's not that important. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that logic. I mean, again, so if a pull request shows up in the next, how many hours, days, hours. If, it shows up, if it shows up before Monday, I guess we Only can if it's accompanied by a, you know, uh, test that lets us inspect the results. That, I, it's the only problem is, you know, it's, you know, some small amount of work to, to verify the fix. In addition to making the fix, you have to verify it. And we don't have either of those. And, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't speak German. So, you know, this isn't uh, uh, something I'm terribly impressed by. All right. So well, we have someone who cares. All right. Well, I, I, I would vote if we don't put it in 3.9, we pass it in 3.10 since it should be a relatively small fix, and we should fix it, not, well, not let it slip yeah. into eternity. Uh, that, that's fine. Uh, it's just, sorry. The, the, reason, the reason I'm looking at this is that, you know, we also have a number of pull requests against 3.0 that kind of fall into the, you know, if we rebuild the bucket. So are we going to take those as well? And, you know, it comes uh, down to... I was going to bring that up too. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm saying if, if, if we're going to, you know, open the... Open the kimono. No, open the... the Floodgates. The doorway just a little bit. Yeah, no, and we don't want floodgates. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna take a peek, let a couple things in. You know, it's gonna be priority priority driven, and that that starts to add up. You know, well, how much time is it gonna take to actually you know review and feel comfortable about the changes? So we start getting into lower priority things, even though they're simple. So basically what it comes down to is because that bug, that bug that we're looking at taking was a small fix and was verified and made sense and was bad on a class of like prevented installs from happening on a bunch of machines, we're taking that one. This is none of that, therefore this one's not making it. Is that a good way of bringing it down? We, we what we could do, <laughs> we could have a nice philosophical discussion about you know scope impact, yeah. you know blah, 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 everything. It's just like it, it's a trivial change, but it's you know it's been there since Wix you know three six. Yeah, probably. And you know, whenever German look came. 
I think we had German in three six. Yeah, I'd be surprised. But yeah, I don't, uh, know. I don't know. Probably actually, we probably did. Worst case, it was three seven a couple months later. All right, three ten then. Yeah, yeah. All right, and we could have the very hard discussion if someone rushes out and makes the fix for it and shows us a picture of it working and all that. Be like, mm, good yeah, job. right. Uh, yeah, if someone again, if someone wanted to take this again in a way that you know made it easy for us to verify, absolutely, I have no problem with that. Cool. Because again, it's trivial. It's just, right. I think we're going to look at some of the pull requests and go, yeah, we should really take that. I'm I'm done with that. So three ten. Three ten. And I think we're done. Yes. Wow. That did you really save it that fast? You were like, you're just waiting to save the button. Or or, save or I went ahead and already had done it. <laughs> Ballsy. All right. Getting back to things because I want to talk about this. Because we've actually done something to make this a discussion now. Yay! Yeah. No, that's actually not a good thing. Um, all right. 3-9, I still say we go for Halloween. We obviously need to do another build if we're going to take that bug fix for the uh, post-quit message into a good place. Um, we've already verified that bug. That is the fix. Um, anything... When do we want to do the next build? Today? Monday? I don't know if it matters a whole lot. Uh, we have to discuss if there's anything else we want to take into 3.9. There's that. Um, all right, you want to do that first? All right, fine. So I think we have to, yeah. All right. Hmm. Bonk. Yeah, that worked. All right. Um, VS 2014 support VS extension. I think that's pretty clearly a 3.10 thing. Um, yeah, there's... Uh, yeah, I'm, I've, I've seen the changes that Keith is talking about. Um, I think it's probably better that we take his, but it's not available yet. Yay. Um... All right, still, Wix 3.10 is the support for Dev 14, so we'll go do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, in general, since there is there is already a uh, you know preview build out, I wouldn't mind taking it as, you know, beta, but it doesn't make me cry that we're not going to you know, get it in. Firewall, port list, or range not possible. I'm still not thrilled by the change here. It basically takes something that was a number and puts it, makes it a string and says that's good. Yeah, I don't think it's... I, it, it mostly probably works, uh, but there's at least one bug in the in the code. And, All right, so we're definitely not taking that. Yeah. Um, Portuguese localization to SQL extension. This is... Ah, this is the uh, uh, assignment agreement that we have. We just got, yep. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about timing. That is pretty good. <laughs> way to be, man. Way to be. Last minute. <laughs> Only way it could have been better is if it came in this morning and I noticed. Uh, literally, it came in yesterday. Right. <laughs> um, so this is... Uh, we, have, we have two dialects of Portuguese... Um, in SQL extension. So, uh, change looks good. It's additive. It's trivial. But it's additive and it will take me, you know, 60 seconds to pull it and build it, which is pretty much all I would do in the Portuguese case. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I looked at it. Looks like good. Portuguese, as far as I understand Portuguese. All right. And if it builds, then it's probably fine. That's what I'm thinking. So you want to take that in 3.9? Yeah. All right. You know, we, we could go through and mark these things with milestones on them. Put that 3.10, put that 3.10, put that 3.9. Anyway. <laughs> Except 
<laughs> we don't actually have a three nine milestone. Oh, well, that's not hard to fix. Um, URI protocol uh, case insensitivity, not case insensitivity. Um, I really oh, don't I... like it when people put the bug title here. It's like no, put the fix, not the bug. Like this is not uh, anyway. No, allow oh. firewall to have range. Make URI protocol function case insensitive. Anyway, we taking this in three nine. I like having the number in there, but the yes, number I, I agree. But the, the title, the title should be the fix. I agree. Yes. Um, uh, well, we don't have a signing agreement for this yet. Anyway, never mind. Oh, that's right. Still waiting for that. I haven't seen that one come back. I don't know okay. this one. I don't know either. I don't remember this one coming back. Okay. No, I, I've, I've asked you about all of these guys and yeah, they haven't seen them yet. Those. All right. Hey, this bug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> eh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, we can take this one, I suppose. You're going to change it to 3.9 then? It's like the only one in here marked with a milestone. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, that'll make somebody happy. I mean, they did a good job reporting the bug and all that. I'm still amazed. That's not bad. Wix 2.0. Oh, dude. Brutal. All right. So, yes or no? I already signed the milestone. We're good. Okay. Uh, adding Windows 10 support to burn stub. You mean Windows 1.0? <laughs> so I, I'm sorry. Was anybody else like the, for the gallery? Does, what do people think of the, uh, the Windows 9 versus Windows 10 thing? Um, give me a plus zero, plus one, other adjectives. All right, uh, we're gonna take this. Ooh, minus one. Um. Actually, I hadn't considered any of these. Um, this one's trivial enough. Yeah, this one's easy enough. And it would future-proof us because if we're targeting Visual Studio, or if we're starting Dev 14 for 13.10, for 13.10, for 13, 3.10, ugh, for, for 3.10, then Windows... 10 may come out before that. So... Uh, yeah, that's actually interesting, because they, they did mention... I, I read somewhere they were talking about late next year for Windows 10. Oh, I, I was hearing... Okay, I guess I saw somewhere mid next year, but... Oh, okay. And then I'm well, expecting Visual Studio comes after a little bit, so... Yeah, uh, that's my assumption. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. Let's take this in 3.9. Yeah. Uh, just to get it in there. Yep. Redefine exit macros. I would vote no because it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Logging for hash verification. Uh, interesting. I, um, yeah. It's a little bigger than I'd like to take today. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on that. In it's burn, I worry a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it has to run it's, on the it's mostly, machine, and if there's anything that's kooky, yeah, it'll take it, us longer to find it. Actually, I was if it weren't for the the stuff in hash that CPP, because the rest is just adding messages, adding strings, <laughs> adding log calls. But yeah, no, no. Um, pad log file numbers for proper sorting. It feels, a, yeah, but it feels. A, I mean, we would surprise people. That's all. I, 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 I honestly, I'd vote no. Like at least in three ten, when you pick up three ten, you'd be like, oh, okay. In three nine, if you did this, you'd be like, whoa, something changed. Well, I, I suspect we, we might surprise person. I don't, 
I don't think we'll surprise people. Okay. As in, I don't think anyone would actually notice. Um, I'm yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know that I would notice it, and I'm, you know, super anal about setup changes like that. Um, but it's not a, you know, it's not a bug fix. It's no, just a, it's, it's a feature. nice thing. Yeah. We're not taking this probably ever in three. And then there's the bug we're taking. Oh, actually, yeah, we should probably, if we want to close the pyro. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Let, let me go get the other one sorted before we close okay. this one. Okay. Because there's a pair with Wix 4. It could confuse things and all that. So. Okay, that works. And then that's the one we're taking. So tag that 3.9, and then we're good to go. All right. So we're taking a couple bugs. Couple localizations. We have a month. It's funny, wasn't it? Just like two days ago, that someone—I don't know—was it Phil? <laughs> someone asked. So, three nine has an RC three. Do we think that's RTM? I'm like, yes, unless we take a bug fix. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Shit, Jinx it. Shut. Yeah, I did. It's all my fault. No, no, no. This is a good fix, right? We've had this... This bug has been for a while. It's been mysterious. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And actually, I'm, I just... Uh, I got a ping about it. I got a ping about this bug like oh, a week really? ago. All right. Yeah. Well, all right. And it's almost specifically talking about WinRM. Uh, so this wasn't a... Yep. You know, it wasn't a client thing. wasn't a, you know, random, uh, you know, kind of cobbled together thing. This was, you know, an official... WinRM is like the new blessed thing for uh, stuff like this. So I suppose. So I we take the build. We take these pull requests. We do a build tomorrow or Monday. Yeah. Because I don't want to get to it today. I'd vote Monday just to give us two days to get through this stuff and. It's fine. I'll, I'll probably be done tonight, but I won't be done before tonight. So. All right. So Monday, we kick this build. Um, I'm inclined not to advertise it widely. Yeah. I'm... But probably have to, because we told everybody that we would not take an RC and it would be RTM and now we're going to tell them RTM's out and by the way there is another one in between then and then sorry we didn't tell you you should have updated so all those people yeah uh, I guess we have to cut an RC4 yeah alright I suppose I, I, I mean I don't think it would be a huge deal but Yeah, we should do that so that everybody... I mean, it, just because we were telling everybody that RC3 looked like it could be RTM. So if they were sitting there going, oh, cool, we're good, I don't want them to be stuck not having at least, you know, a global announcement that went out and said, hey, RC4. They'd be like, wait, there's a build after RC3? Didn't you tell us? We're like, well, if you look on this one page, it's sitting here. But yeah, we didn't talk about it much. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, all right. Not that I want to cut another RC, but that we probably should. So, 310 will have less in it. Um, <laughs> nice. <There you> go. <laughs> but I still think it starts after Halloween. I still think we do all this before Halloween. We have a month left. We're taking the targeted fixes that we trust. We yeah. really are kind of there, unless we get another bug fix, like the order of the one that we got, and that will then be presumably the only bug fix we take because we wouldn't take a bunch of other pull requests now. I don't plan to. Yeah. All right, so we're still on target for, for Halloween. Our two-month window is serving us well here, I think is what it would say, right? Absolutely. Hey, look, we look awesome. <laughs> 
All right, so 310 starts after Halloween. 39 still launches on Halloween. All is well there. Wix 4 status has not changed. It is still, if you do stuff for Wix 4, let's get the stuff in there now. Um, I was on top of pull requests pretty much this week. So if there's more coming, we'll get it. Um, I have a, still a change from Sean that's deep in the burn engine that I need to get to, but my head has been too deep in the binder code to really sit down and think about it. But it's on my list to go get, which I think keeps me up with all of the pull requests that have assignment agreements. And we still will discuss 4.0 after we discuss 3.9 and get 3.10 started, a.k.a. November early November. Cool? Are you still uh, comfortable with, or sorry, I guess, you have a question mark after March 2015. It, has that question mark grown or stayed the same? No. <laughs> not given the changes that I've seen thus far, it's not grown. Okay. Um, the, it, it's going to kind of turn it, I mean, it, again, I think we talked about this last time, but if we get features before the end of the year, if we get all the features that we want in 4.0 this year, I still think March is probably okay. It's a little aggressive, but I think if we lock it down, just start fixing bugs, just try to get a whole bunch of people on it, you know, three months of, you know, dedicated effort, we're probably okay. Right? Um, because there's more, like, and, and the reason I feel that is because there's more fire giant focus on 4.0 than there is on the threes. So it's like I, I I have dedicated resources here that are kind of beating on 4.0, making it, you know, verifying it more than I, I believe there is being done on 3.9. Okay. Um, the, the features, that is, you know, the stuff that would be broken and so on and so forth. So if we get to the end of January, like if all the features come in by the end of the year and we get to January, you know, the end of January, and we're like, "Cool, most of the bugs are gone." Then we can sit there for a couple months and see how it goes. I don't, you know, if it's March, it's probably end of March. It's still probably aggressive, but we'll see. Maybe the question mark's bigger. Now that I walk through it. it, I guess it depends. Like, depends on what people bring in, right? If nobody brings, if people don't bring in anything more than what we have now, then no, March is totally doable. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Uh, you know, and if we get to the end of the year and people are like, oh, I want to bring this big feature, and we're all like, oh, that's cool, then we'll decide to bring in a feature, you know, in next year, and we'll do that. Anyway, I don't know. It, we're going to have to go back through all the things that we want to do, but I want to do that in November and have a big discussion about that and go from there. Yeah, that works. That works. Right. I mean, right now the focus finishing 3.9 is a good thing, or not distracting from 3.9 is a good thing. All right, that works for me. Anything else? We got five minutes. It is all quiet in the gallery. Nothing, nothing. All right. I don't know what we do without John Cooper. He's like the only one that ever answers whenever I ask things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that does not make it okay for all the rest of you to sleep through the meeting. I feel like, you know, like this is probably what teachers feel like when they're standing up in front of the class and they ask a question and no students raise their hand. <laughs> They're like, cool, I'm just going to pick on someone now. You know, then we got that smart kid that's sitting up front that keeps raising his hand and doing that stuff. <laughs> then, and then John comes up and <laughs> tells me he's a former teacher. That's just too funny. Did I call it or did I call it? Um, yeah, all right. So on that note, we're awesome. We're doing great. I'm not sure what I think about RC4, but too late. We've made that decision, so that's what we're doing. That's Build close. on Monday. I don't have any work right for this. This is all you, Bob, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. This, and, well, this is mostly me pus pushing the the green button. So. Yeah, it's probably not going to be green after you take the first no, one. No, I know. And then I will push the big red button, or whatever color it is, that um, um, kicks off the build on Monday. 
then we'll, I guess, Bob will put together the RC4 announcements that says, hey, RC4, yay, That's, sorry. This is going to be a short yay. one. Yeah, yeah, I can list all the bugs by name. Um, right. But it'll be good. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll. It will be nice to have that, that post-quit message bug gone from our... I, I agree. I agree with that. Cool. All right. On that note, you guys get four minutes of your life back. Uh, have a good time. We'll have a build-out Monday. If you have other stuff you want to discuss, it's always on Wix devs. Um, if you have Wix 4 stuff, as I've noted before, uh, get on it. and Or at least start talking about it or whatever we're doing there. And uh, that's it. I think I'm out. Until next time. Later. Bye.